Good morning. You never know what you're going to get when you walk in here. That, the service hadn't started yet, and the choir is starting to sing. Um, so, welcome to Monticello United Methodist Church. Glad you're here to worship with us this morning. Let your light shine. What would it look like if you let your light shine? Uh, collectively, what, what, what would that look like? What would that look like individually? And as you're, as you're thinking about that, that comes from, that's going to be in the sermon, obviously. Um, Matthew, Matthew 5, 18 ish, I think. Keep in mind the neat thing for me about the Bible, neat, curious, frustrating. You can always find scripture that feels like it's saying the opposite. If you go to, to uh, 6 1, it talks about don't do those deeds out in front of everybody, do them in secret. So, how do you let your light shine? in secret, keeping that proper tension between those two different concepts. So wrestle with that one as we begin our service. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Let's join together in our liturgy. Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. God, who said, Let light shine out of the darkness, has made his light shine in our hearts. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. That you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven.
Good morning again, and welcome to the classic at Monticello United Methodist Church. And greetings to those listening on the radio on WMRS 1077, and to those who will watch this later in the week on Comcast Channel 90. And at this time, I want to remind you to find the tear-off tab in your bulletin and fill that out. Make sure that you put as much information as you're willing to share so that uh, we know who worshiped here today with us. At this time, I want to invite the children to come forward for the children's message, and the rest of us will greet one another. Do you guys, do you guys say good, good morning to everyone? One, two, three. Good morning. Because they were coming up and everything. Matthew five sixteen says, "In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven." So tell me, uh, tell me some uh, some things that shine light. Anyone? Yes. The sun, right, the sun's a good one. Fire shines light, gives us light in the darkness. Hi. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. The stars, the stars are a good one, right? Imagine that dark night sky with no stars. They're shining, right, giving us light. Um, what about a flashlight? Shine this right up at that guy right there. Shining in the darkness. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. We lo I love you. Um, <laughs> uh, but you know what one of my favorites is? A lighthouse. Because a lighthouse lets ships and boats that are far off from the side of the coast know that there's danger or caution so that they don't run into the rocks or, and, and get shipwrecked, Right? So it says, let your light shine before all men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So what, what, uh, who shines in us? Simple question, right? Or hard? Anyone? Yes. God shines in us, right? Jesus shines in us. He lives in us, right? What's cool about that? We can go into dark places and we can shine. But you know the difference between that, the, these temporary things, that flashlight, and the thing that's inside of us that's forever? It doesn't go out. The batteries will run out in that. Clouds will cover the sky, and the, sh the stars won't shine. They're, sh they're shining. They're just covered. And a lighthouse might lose its light bulb, right? But the thing that's inside us, the person who's inside us, doesn't stop shining. And even when we're, we're feeling not so good, when we're feeling great, when we're having kind of not a great week or a really amazing year, he doesn't stop shining. And I think that's pretty cool, right? I do anyways. I think you guys do. <laughs> um, you want to pray? It was short and simple this morning. Father, thank you so much um, that, you, that you shine in us. Thank you so much that you live in us. Thank you so much that in the darkness we can, we can bring your light and know that, that in, in the, the brightest of days and the darkest of days, you continue to shine and you never go out. And I'm very, very grateful for your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, you guys can go where you go.
Please join me in this morning's affirmation of faith. We trust in God, Spirit of life, creator of all that is and all that is to come, who surrounds us and fills us, who sees the word of life in us, and so we listen. We listen to Jesus, revealer of God, who listened in prayer and love, listening to God's voice and doing God's will. after a couple of weeks of not doing that. Well, as we come to our time of prayer, I'd like to invite you to take a look at your bulletin at the prayer window. There you'll find names of, of various people, families uh, connected with our church who are, are asking for prayer for some need in their lives or in the lives of loved ones. And in the coming week, our hope is that you will lift these people up to the Lord, invite him into their situations to show his light and his hope in dark valleys that people might be going through right now. And if you yourself or, or you know someone who's going through a dark valley, make sure that you write that down in, in the tear off tab and drop that off in the, in the offering plate later in the service. And uh, if you would like that included in the prayer window, be sure to mark that, and uh, please make sure that you have permission if it's for someone else. On the other hand, if you would rather it be kept confidential for someone who, uh, or for only our uh, pastoral staff to know about, be sure to mark that as well. And now to prepare our hearts to go to the Lord in prayer, let's sing together, Seek Ye First. God, our Father, who sent your Son into this world as the light of the world, who imparts that same light to your people through the power and indwelling of your Holy Spirit. God, may we be open and available to be used by you to show your light, to show your glory, to show your goodness wherever we go. In our homes, 
in our workplaces, in our communities, and most certainly in our church. God, it can be difficult to let go of worldly fears and concerns and give ourselves over fully and completely to you. In a world full of pressures and challenges and responsibilities, we can become so overwhelmed that we lose sight of you, our rock, our foundation, our stability, indeed our very source of life, our very source of life-changing power. Help us to be open to what you would do within us. Help us not to resist. Help us not to hold tightly to things which we should hand over to you and entrust to you. God, we lift up to you all of those with concerns. And we pray that you would shine your light into those situations. That those in need might see hope and find comfort in you. We also pray for those who are celebrating joys, that we might recognize that the joys we experience in this life come from you, ultimately from you, and help us to respond to earthly joys with gratitude and thanksgiving to you, Lord our God, from whom all good things come. And now, as an expression of our trust and dependence upon you, we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 